Hello, thank you for joining me again. As ever, I really appreciate it. And I'm going to talk about a little word that I hadn't heard of before. But it's a word that I think I will be using quite a bit now. It's called anti-disappointment. And I can remember looking forward to something and I'm being so let down, so disappointed. Maybe a, a party that your friends weren't there and you didn't think it was what it was going to be. Certainly I went to a film with a friend and it had been built up in the press and on the television and we were really looking forward to it. And we kept looking at each other saying, is it going to actually wind up soon? Is it going to get more interesting? No. And then when it finally finished and the lights went on, people were turning to one another and saying, is that it? Has it finished? So that was very, very disappointing. Uh, but then, surprisingly, the film went on to receive Oscars and goodness knows what. Each to their own. But it can work in the opposite direction. And some years ago, I went for a meal with friends. I'd driven, so I was on soft drinks. And they, in this Japanese restaurant, one of them was having sake. And they used to live in Japan. So she said, I'm so looking forward to sake. I've not had any for years. Don't know why, I just haven't. So I'm really looking forward to it. And of course it arrived in this little little teapot with um, a napkin over the top and she started sipping and we were catching up and nattering and she said oh gosh this is so tasty I'm really enjoying it I said well I'm very glad have a sip I said no I won't I'll just have my drink that's fine so she said do you know I'm actually getting squiffy. It's so strong. She said, just have a little taste. So she passed her glass over and I took a little sip and I said, that's water. She said, no, no, it's sake and it's really strong. I said, no, that's water. There's no flavor to it. So we lifted the cloth off the pot and there sitting in a warm water bath was a little of a little jar of untouched sake. Yes, what she had been drinking was the water that was surrounding it and warming it. But because she'd been looking forward to it, she convinced herself that it was sake, it was really tasty, and it was making her squiffy. <laughs> So, some people are a very cheap date, very cheap to enjoy something that's only water, and for that to make them feel lightheaded as if they've been drinking something a lot stronger. So, remember that word and see if it works for you, either on the negative way that you are disappointed or when anticipation works for you in a most unexpected way. So on that note, I will leave you, bid you adieu. I don't know what goodbye is in Japanese, so I will just bow instead and say thank you for joining me and I will see you once again tomorrow. By the way, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. Please share. Add a comment. I've had some lovely little comments coming through. I really do enjoy seeing them. So why not join in? Thank you so much. Bye.